let's get started on our shooter style video game in Adobe Flash CS4. We're going to be using ActionScript 2.0. Go ahead and go to your library, right click inside of the gray space and create a new symbol. Make sure that you create a movie clip and you're going to name it Spaceship with a capital S in space and a capital S in ship. Click OK and then go ahead and take a few minutes and draw your spaceship. Now you can go back and change this at a later time, so if you're trying to go through this tutorial quickly, you can draw whatever you want for this. But I'm just going to quickly draw a little spaceship. Again, if you wanted to create this in Photoshop or Illustrator and bring it in, you can do that as well. Just remember to change it to a movie clip and be sure that your spelling is correct, as, as well as the capitalization. That's going to be important for the code that I've included in this tutorial. And that kind of looks like a little space airplane, I guess. We'll add a little bit of color to it. And that looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the entire drawing that I've created and make sure that wherever my bullets are going to come out, I'm going to line that up with the registration mark, which is the small little X in the center. And for this, I'm going to have it coming out looking like it's rockets underneath the wing of the plane. Now I'll go ahead and click and drag your symbol to the stage. If it's too large like mine, you can resize it. Give it an instance name of ship with a capital S. That's very important as well. I'm just going to resize it, make it a little bit smaller. If you do not appropriately name your instance, your code will not work. So make sure it's capital S H I P. And you can move your symbol to where you want it to start when you play the video game. All right, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go up in the first frame of the timeline and we're going to open up the actions panel and then go ahead to the provided script and grab all of the code that's going to go in the first frame of your main timeline. There's only four places to put code for this tutorial, so make sure you go all the way to the bottom and grab all of the appropriate code. Copy that and then again paste it in the first frame with your actions. There we go. Now if you quick, quick export your movie, you'll see that your character moves around the screen, but stays within the confines of the screen. There we go, up, down, left, and right, all works out great. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into our library, right click, click, create a new symbol, a movie clip again, and name it Bullets, the capital B, this time you're going to need to check the export for action script. Make sure the identifier is bullet. Then you'll just need to draw yourself a bullet. And this can be anything that you want. You can go back and change this later, remember. Now it's really important that you start it on the right side of the registration mark. Because wherever that registration mark is, that's going to be where your bullet comes out. If you'll remember back with the ship that we made, we made sure that we set the registration mark on that symbol so that that's where our bullets were going to come out. So we're going to line this up on the right side of the registration mark. And we'll make it a little bit smaller. So you can see I'm going to lift this up and line it up right with that cross. There we go. Now we can go back to our scene. And now when we export it and we try to shoot the bullets, there's bullets that come out, but they just sit there. So we need to add some code to the bullet timeline. So we're going to go back to our bullet symbol. We're going to go up into the first frame of the timeline. And next we're going to grab the code that's provided, the code that says it goes in the first frame of the bullet symbol timeline. So we're not putting this on the bullet symbol, but we're putting it in the first frame of the bullet timeline. So we'll just copy that. Go back to the first frame, open our Actions palette. There we go, and copy it right in there. Now when we export it, we shoot bullets. 
pretty sweet. All right, we'll go back to our scene. Now it's time for us to make an, a bad guy or an enemy. So we're gonna go back into the library, right click, create a new symbol, make sure it's a movie clip and name it enemy with a capital E. Make sure you click the export for action script button. And then you'll just need to draw yourself an enemy. And again, just to remind you, you can change this later. In fact, we're, we are gonna change it later. We're gonna animate it. But for right now, you can draw whatever you want. I'm gonna draw kind of a, an octopus. Real quick little drawing. I'll add some color to it and make it purple. There we go. And I think I'll draw a little eye on this octopus too. Again, you can change this and we'll be able to animate it later. All right, now that we've got our enemy, we can just click and drag it to the stage. Now this is very important. When you drag it to the stage in your properties, under the instance name, you'll need to name it enemy, the capital E, and zero. We've coded this so that we can have three enemies. Each instance that you pull to the stage, you'll need to give it a different instance name. All right, now go back to your code and you're gonna grab all the code that goes under each instance of your enemy ship. And I know this isn't a ship, I know it's an octopus, but it's for whatever you will create. Then this time we're going to right click on the instance itself and select actions, and then we're gonna paste those actions right in there. Now when we export it, we can see our octopus flies around and we can shoot it with our bullets. So far, so good. So now let's pull another enemy to the stage. So I'm gonna grab another enemy from our library. This time, again, capital E, enemy. This time we'll name it enemy one. Our first one was enemy zero. Then we'll pull another one. And this time it's enemy two for our instance name. Now we need the code that we had on the other two, so we're gonna go back and grab that code and paste it in there. You can see these two guys don't move yet because we haven't put the code on those instances. So we can just open this guy up and copy all of the actions that we put there. And we'll go into our other instance, open the actions palette and paste the code. Do the same thing for our third enemy. And now all three of them move, and they're all, all three of them killed by the bullets. So far, so good. All right, now we need to put some code on the ship, because right now our enemies don't kill our ship. So go back into your codes. This code goes into the actions for the ship and go ahead and grab all of that. And this time we're gonna put all of this code on the instance of the ship that we have on the stage. So we'll copy it. We'll right click on the ship itself, open up the actions and paste it. And now our ship, when we run into a bad guy, we die and regenerate. This is the end of the first part of how to make a video game using Flash CS4. I hope you'll join us for part two.